All right, it's hot. I'm sweaty. I've already filmed some videos if you can't tell, um, but now we're on to uh, just some tree updates and some trimming. It's a bit wet outside, but I want to take you out just for a second um, and show you what we're working on. So along the walls we worked on Chinese elm forest, uh, nine bark, silver birch, air layer maple, um, dwarf picea, some other stuff. Uh, I don't think they'll all be in this video because it will be absolutely huge if I do that. Um, so let's get the first three in and then we'll look at the rest when we get there. Alright, first up, Chinese Elm Forest. Uh, Xavier gave me these as a Christmas present. Um, I potted them up into this reptile uh, thing. I drilled some holes in and, and planted myself a nice little forest. As you can tell, I underestimated the Chinese Elm. Xavier, you're going to be watching this and laughing and thinking that I thought maybe they might not survive or that I'd been a bit rough with them. So we're going to be doing some pruning today. Um, I'm not going to be so scared maybe or apprehensive to take them back. Um, I just want to do a general shape prune first and then I will kind of select some branches and be a bit more uh, thorough with it. Right, look at that for a bloody carnage cam. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, so that's just a general shape prune. Now we can have a bit of a look. We try and imagine it as a forest. Um, I would like to get some more trees in this, but for now, I like that this is like a bit of a clearing to the forest. And then the trees surround. Um, I'm going to look for something to pop in the middle of it, some sort of feature. I don't know whether it's going to be like a miniature house or might make like a pathway inspired by like sort of Nigel Saunders penging kind of things, but there's so many years uh, that we're talking about here, so I'm not in a rush for it yet. So I think what I want to do is put you guys in a place where I'm going to be looking at it, and then you can see how I make the decisions. So here we are then. I think that's kind of what I'm seeing. Um, I don't want to remove loads, because obviously these are really new to the planting, but I don't want the trees to be wasting energy. Uh, so this is pretty horrible. We'll take that off completely. Wrong tool for the job. Uh, what else? Um, this, again, I think if it was a ramified branch, it probably would look better. So we'll cut that off to a outward facing bud. Uh, we'll trim these back also here as well. Uh, I've done all the exterior branches on that one. Uh, obvious ones to me. Um, I think this is no good, so that's not really going to add. So that whole branch can come off. Um, and then little things like in here, shortening these back. Another one back here. Another one in here. That one coming down nicely. That one shoots across too far. So that's the back. Any other major ones? You guys are probably screaming out to me that you can see things. This one's extended a bit far, but it comes off of the smallest of the tree, so I want to keep it just uh, to build strength on that one. If any of the trees that I don't want to prune too hard, it's going to be the smaller one. Uh, these ones have responded really well. That branch, it doesn't really look natural hanging down like that so I'm going to trim it. Coming back then, the back of it we've got a few that you can't really see from the front so we're just going to trim them back. A couple of long extensions here. Again we're just thinking about the long term of the tree. I don't really like this branch coming across but it does fill the that void nicely so maybe we'll just take Take it off to here maybe, um, because then these can sort of fill in. Again, this one comes back too much. Wrong tool. Quite soft Chinese elm. So yeah, I think. What would you guys do? Let me know. Probably screaming at me to take branches off here and there. That's what I do when I'm watching 
videos. I'm like, oh, it's so clear that one, but you can't tell when you're actually doing it. All right, Chinese elm forest trimmed up then, looking really good. Um, uh, any advice or anything that you think you would change? I think I've got a bit of a cluster in here. Uh, let's take out the strongest one. There we go. Let me know what you think to this one, guys. It's growing really well. I'm not even going to uh, add any more fertilizer on it. It's already had a bit of slow release, so it should be fine. Um, I'm going to maybe make some cuttings out of these because I think I want to, to ground plant some Chinese elm. So now's a good time to start those better now than never right next tree let's go all right you can consider yourself a bit of a og of the channel if you remember this one or you know where it comes from uh, this is a nine bark uh, air layering experiment that i did at our old house so yeah if you remember that one consider yourself an og all right uh, I actually sent a picture to Alex of the flower. This this actually flowered. This is only I only separated it late last year or no, mid last year maybe, um, and it put out a flower. I, the picture I got is terrible. It's right at the end uh, when it was pretty much done anyway. But it's ah, oh, it's just beautiful. Uh, so I know this tree's healthy. I know it's responded really well. Um, the angle is all wrong, and I don't like the pot and all that. But it's still it's just recovering from. Um, yeah, you can already oh, see there's even like roots popping out of the trunk again. So goodness knows what we're going to do. These root really easily from cuttings. So if you ever want one, just comment and I can get I can make make one quite easily. Uh, we're not going to be looking at anything structural uh, as far as like carving or anything like that. We're just going to be pruning it back, really getting it back under control. So. This is a perfect example of if you ever feel kind of flustered by a tree or you're not sure where to go, just stick to the basics. Don't make any decisions straight away. Just prune back to the first pair of leaves on branches that you think you might want to keep. And you have a clearer picture of what to do with it, basically. So it is definitely overwhelming to begin with when you start on a tree that you haven't really spoken to for a while. But here we are, no love lost between friends. We're just going to go in, give her a little bit of a haircut, and then figure out what the hell is going on. Uh, so first of all, this one's pretty vigorous. We're going to take that off. This one extends back. But I kind of like that. Kind of like that. Concave pruner. We've got this weird, all these branches are right at the back. Um, and again, I'm not even particularly sure what I want to do with it, but we can build some ramification by just literally pruning back to the first pair of leaves. See, I already pruned this as a rough prune, and now I'm looking at it and going, actually, there's another set of leaves there that I prefer. I'd rather it bud out, budded out from that point. So looking a little, you know, busy in this area. This is new growth. You can tell by the color. You can see this is all new growth this year. But again, might just leave it there for now. I'm sure you guys have your opinions. Put them down in the comments. What would you do? What would you do different? What do you think I should do next time? This is the nine bark air layering. Yep, I'm going to leave it at that for now. Next tree, let's go. All right, this one. This one is a little bit, what's the word? Controversial is the word I'm looking for because this tree is one of the first ones I repotted this year and um, I, I really left the root system in, you know, there was like nothing left. So I said to myself, right, just leave it alone. Don't prune it all year. Let it regain strength. Uh, but look at it. It's, it's gone wild. It's doing really well. It's responded brilliantly um, to that first set of wire and then a really, really severe root pruning. Um, I want this tree to thicken up. I want it to get stronger. I was hoping for something to pop out at this point that I could let grow on as a sacrificial. All I've got for sacrificial is this, which is only going to, I don't know, it's the best I can do for now. So I'm thinking I'm going to prune it. I'm going to set the branches back, but I'm going to leave this one here to fully elongate all year. I can live with that. What I can't live with is this 
this is a lot going on so let's sort that out not actually sure why i time lapse that one because that really literally took me about 30 seconds but there we are main pad uh, i know what some of you are probably thinking you know birch are really susceptible to die back and i've had it a lot on this tree uh, in fact building this whole pad structure here i went through yeah a good 18 months of fighting with die back and trying to figure out how to prune birch um, so my advice with birch pruning especially in the summer um, yeah you're liable to die back so don't prune it as hard as you just watch me do with some of those other trees what I've done is say for example on this branch this is facing the wrong way but it can be wired um, I'm not going to wire it now but whereas on a Chinese elm like we've just seen me do I might take it back to this leaf but if that branch dies back I've lost the whole branch and that would be a bit of a shame so what I'm going to do is, whilst it's still growing um, and it's susceptible to die back, I go one, two, three buds. Three buds on the um, branch should give you a better chance, or less chance rather, of you know extreme die back. And you might just get it to the second bud or something. In which case, you can deal with that. You know, you can regrow from that. Uh, and again, this sacrificial is just going to thicken up this whole area, and and then eventually one day add a bit of size to it probably put it in a pot too early but this is still one of my favorite trees um, it's got some really nasty scarring some inverse taper here but the root system is now sorted out and we can start to develop it over the years so yeah there's that one i love this tree right lastly then just quick uh some of you will remember i did a repairing ceramic video in I was really bored <laughs> after Christmas time, I had nothing to do, and this one fell over, so I repaired it, made a whole video about repairing it. I want to show you that it's still doing really well, and the pot is fine, the tree is fine. Uh, the whole story of this tree is on that video, so I won't go through it again. But yeah, this part that, we, that I snapped, or was snapped in the wind rather, didn't make it, unfortunately. But that this part is obviously very healthy and still alive, so I'm just going to... Finally, separate that. That goes in the bin, that goes in the garden waste, and uh, that is this one as well. Alright, I couldn't help myself. The scissors were out, and uh, there's just some extension, so I'm just trimming back because I'm here. I don't get here that often, so this is a tree that literally sits and waits for when I'm ready. So today's the day for this year, I probably won't touch it again. I just want it to grow nice and big and strong, thicken up the trunk, uh, get some nice bark characteristics and go from there really. So not a bonsai, more of just a plant that I really, really like. So, all right, that's the end of this video. We're going to, well, I'm going to now go and grab the huge DeSojo air layer, um, but that will be a separate video. So uh, stay tuned, that one will probably be after this one. Um, wherever you are in the world, make sure you take care of yourself. See you in a minute.